So I know nothing will be done regarding what I'm about to say because unfortunately Claremont is run by a tyrannical derelict council that only gives the illusion that the citizens' input matters. But nonetheless, this needs to go on the record. So let's take a look at Boltice's employment contract, specifically section one, subsection D, in part states that, quote, Boltice shall not engage in any conduct which could reflect unfavorably upon the city. Boltice will at all times uphold the ethics rules, regulations, and state laws, and failure to comply with ethical com commitments shall constitute cause for termination. Since Boltice's employment, he has violated Florida state law, specifically statute 286.0114, whereas he refused to allow a citizen utilization of the overhead projector during her public comment because he was in opposition to what she was trying to convey. He also failed to disclose the $3 million surplus during the budget cycle for fiscal year 2023. He failed to properly account for ARPA monies during that same budget cycle. He's verbally publicly attacked members of the public who speak out against the agenda. Might I remind you, sir, that uh, these are the same people that actually pay your salary that you're asking for an increase for on this current agenda item. Uh, for instance, publicly commenting on Charlene Ford's tax bill and attacking the spring, spring games at the town hall when its owner operator, also a taxpayer, I might add, asked basic appropriate budget questions. And does, as of late, into a, you got into a highly inappropriate, slanderous verbal altercation in the parking lot last Wednesday night outside of the city center with a female taxpayer accusing her of trying to make the city produce records that do not exist and I'm slamming her, uh, slamming you on Facebook, which is preposterous and unequivocally false, sir. You know, it would almost seem like Ball Tice has an issue with the women, some sort of issue, because it seems like those are the only ones that he is vile and uh, nasty to. This would actually happen, if this was to happen in the workplace, it would um, actually constitute sexual harassment because he would be creating a hostile work environment. He's a walking liability. So in closing, I'm requesting that if you refuse to terminate him per your own contract, that you at the very least include these behavioral concerns in his review and then explain why when he's behaving as he has and continues to, why you would even be approving a base salary increase at all for him. And that you also make his formal review public as part of this of these proposed revisions. And also I, I find it, I just added this, also I find it disrespectful and quite hypocritical, Mr. Boltai, saying that our low level employees out here are not paid enough, while on the same agenda, you're asking for an increase in your own salary. Super cute, classy.